All right, so this next step is going to be to add in our flat colors. So to do this, I went ahead and merged all of our line art layers to one layer, and I've created a new layer underneath that. It's gonna be set to normal, and this is what we're gonna to use to color on. Now, I'm just using the acrylic brush in Procreate. It honestly doesn't matter a whole lot what brush you use. We're just gonna be filling in the flat colors, nothing fancy, no lighting or anything like that. So you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna use the acrylic brush just because I like the way it blends and we're gonna bring the opacity down to about 50% around there and you wanna make sure that you're on the right layer which we are and you can come in here and start painting now I'm going to actually be painting this uh, green because he is a chameleon or do we want to go green we could go with something completely different if we want maybe uh, blue purple let's see more of a teal color. I actually want to go with this yellow green color. So uh, what we're painting here is we're imagining what color this is without any sort of light or shadow on it. Okay, now it's not really possible in the real world, but that's what I want you to try and picture when you paint this. So for the flat color, it's going to be a little bit less bright, somewhere around there. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring the opacity up just a little bit on that. And we can come in here and start painting in uh, the colors for this guy. Okay, I'm gonna bring my background layer just a little darker here, and I'm also gonna put a little bit of green in it. Okay, there we go. So, come in here, we're gonna start painting this in. Okay, we don't have to be perfect with this. We wanna make sure we're not going outside the lines, right? But it doesn't have to be exact. We kind of like this painterly feel, so it's gonna help even though it seems counterintuitive that it's not super detailed, that's really loose, it is actually going to help us have more realism later on in our painting, okay? Now, not all of this is just going to be one flat color. I'm gonna be coming in here and changing some of these values and these hues to get different effects. Now, I'm not gonna be doing any sort of really specific markings at this point, right? And no stripes or stuff like that. That's something that we add towards the very end uh, with a multiply layer, but for now what we're focusing on is just the overall main color of things, okay? So I mean, you can bring this a little warmer and add a few sections that have a little bit of yellow to them, okay? Maybe actually we want to reverse that, we want the yellow more down here, okay? You're just gonna go through and fill in the whole thing. Now remember the more color variations you do, like if you make this crazy rainbow, the more work you're gonna have to do when you're lighting it, which is fine if you wanna do that, just be aware, okay? If you if you wanna keep it more simple, then the less color variations, the better. However, it's also going to be a little less appealing. It's not gonna have as much depth and life feeling to it because everything is just one flat color. So keep that in mind as well. Um, you're just gonna have to find that perfect balance between the two in order for it to really work out nicely for what it is you wanna do. So we're coming down here on his arm. You can see that I'm keeping my brush pretty big here and because we have the opacity down, it blends pretty nicely. We don't have a lot of crazy hard edges or anything like that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some of this yellow back in here and start to switch things up. I'm gonna bring it even warmer. And go ahead and bring almost this orange color in here on part of his arm here. I'm gonna do, go all the way over here to red and do this spot up here on his head. Just experimenting here. If I don't like something, I can always go back and undo it or change it. I'm not sure I'm digging into that much red. Um, but maybe a little bit of red somewhere I think would look pretty good. Excellent. Uh, let's get the inside of his mouth here. Let's come back over here to our green. We're gonna bring in this darker green and really start to fill in a few more of these sections that we want to, oh, it's a little bit too bright there, that we wanna bring in more, a little bit too saturated as well, let's bring it back. 
There we go. So some of these areas over here on his scales will will knock in a little bit. Okay. Up here on his back, it's pretty pretty bright. We're gonna knock that back as well. Okay. And here on his hand, top of his head, I'm gonna push back into this green color. It's darker green. Right now this is all feeling a little bit bright, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, after I finish this section of the tail here and his arm, I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole layer. We're going to uh, lower the brightness just a little bit as well as the opacity. We're gonna bring both of those down. And I think this is more around the range we want to be painting in right now. Okay. All right. Excellent. Let's get uh, this a little darker here. We're going to do some sections back here on his neck. Kind of like these sort of fall, autumn y colors mixed with the green. All right, um, darker green for his front of his face over here, I think. Okay, I'm gonna get a red in here, and we're gonna start to add a little bit of warmth to a few of these sections here. And we're gonna get real bright red on his tail. Mm, I don't know if I like the red there. I think we're just going to keep his tail green. We don't really want that to become a focal point, but we can warm it up just a little bit at least. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in uh, just a little bit of this grayish blue color as well in some areas to uh, just kind of to break up some of this contrast here. Break up all the warms we have going on. And I'm starting to see this trend of this blue stripe going in between, and I kind of really like that. So I'm going to actually push that a little further here and really send that home. I really like that effect and the color it gives. I'm picking up a little bit more of this red to throw in on some of these areas back here. The top of his legs here in some areas that just need to be a little bit more pushed back on him. And uh, we need to let's do his wings a little better here. Um, let's get some of this red color and put it on the underside of the wings. Awesome. So that looks pretty great. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do now his horns here and his claws. Excellent. And his claws are going to be similar sort of color. Okay, and then the last thing after we do that is going to be the tree. Oh, and these claws up here in his wings. I won't forget those. Bring the opacity up a bit on this. So it is going to be this wooden color, but we are going to have uh, a few spots of greenery on here. So even on the wood here, I'm making some variation. So we're not just dealing with flat colors. At this stage, it's still gonna look really rough, right? It might seem a far cry away from getting anywhere that could be considered photorealistic, but just be patient. This uh, painting style really takes a while. It's a process, okay? But by the time you're done, you'll be pretty impressed. You'll be amazed at what you did. Um, 
And even though this seems like it's starting really loose and you might be itching to really start adding some detail work, you're really going to want to make sure that you start loose like this. Otherwise, if you get too tight too fast, what will happen is that you won't have uh, enough you know, looseness to really tighten things up and make them look accurate because you did that too quickly. Okay, So that looks like a good last little bit. I do want to take this greenish blue color and push it just a little more in, uh, in the center area here. And then I'll just back, push this some more. And then his stomach. Uh, that looks good for our color layer and we can go ahead and move on in the next lecture uh, and start adding some shadows. So, see you guys in the next one.